How's it going? It's Lee John Blackmore here, LeeJohnBlackmore.com. This week we're going to do the intro of Game of Thrones. It's a little bit fiddly, but I'm going to make it super simple for you guys, okay? Let's get straight into it, okay? So we got this first little bit here, um, and it goes kind of... Okay? So what we actually do, the first chord is actually A minor. If you want this to, if you want to play along with the actual theme, you have to put a capo on the third fret. We're just going to do it in standard, okay? So it's actually A minor, but we're not going to play an A minor. We're going to take off the third finger of an A minor and move the second over so it lands on the third string. So basically, first finger, first fret, uh, second string, second finger, second fret, third string. I'm going to pluck the A string and the top E together, then hit the G string. Then I'm going to hit the B and hammer on my third finger onto the third fret on the B string. So, so far. So let's just recap that. A string and top E together, G, G string, with the third finger we're going to hammer on, pluck the B and hammer on in the third fret, then play a top E, then another G. So A and E, G, hammer on B, top E, G. I'll pop a tab underneath so you can check the tab. So every time I play that top E, I pluck the A string at the same time. When you've done that four times, you slide the first finger Okay, which is on the B string in the first fret to the second fret, still on the B string. So all together. Okay, so that's the intro. Then we get to the first progression, so... Now you could add in a bass note. But we're going to skip that out because it gets a bit tricky. Okay, so you want to keep that same chord. First finger, first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, third string. So that's uh, the strings, E, G, hammer on the B, with that third finger again in the third fret, top E, and G again. So if you're not too hot on the string names, that's going to be first, third, hammer on the second, first, third. If you're not too sure guys, Rewind the video, play it back, rewind the video, do as many times as you want, okay? That's the beauty about making, you know, learning stuff on YouTube. You can always go back to it later on. So there's our first little chord. Then we play a, just the first finger in the first fret on the second string, and we hammer on the third finger, still on the second string in the third fret, Play the top E. Then we play this, it's kind of, um, it looks like a bit of an E minor shape. But what we're going to do, we're just going to put the second finger in the second fret on the fourth string. And the third finger is going to hammer on in the second fret on the third string. 
that'll be... So uh, this time I'm plucking the bottom E and the B string. And then I'm plucking the D. Hammer on the G, second fret. So that's from an open to a second fret. B, D. So let's do that. Bottom E in B, D. Hammer on G, B. D. One more hammer on at the end on the G string. Then we play this. If you're going to play a G7, you'd play a G with the second finger in the second fret on the fifth string, third finger, third fret on the sixth string, and then we we're actually going to use the pinky in the 3rd fret on the B string. Normally to play a G it would be on the top E, but now we're going to play it on the B string. We're going to pluck the bottom E and B again. So that's bottom E and B together. Then the G string. This is where our first finger comes into play on the 1st fret on the B string. And what we're going to do, we're going to remove the pinky and we're going to do a pull off, okay? So that's uh, first finger, first fret, second string, and I'm actually plucking the bottom E at the same time and pulling off until we've got an open B. So that's one, O. Oh. And then the pinky goes back down on the third fret on the B string. So E and B together, G, pull off, open, pinky, three, G again, pull off again, then we're into our last chord which we're going to play like an A, we're going to play it with a bar, okay, a little bar chord, so uh, first finger lands in the second fret on the fourth string and it covers the third string as well. Okay. Uh, this is probably the hardest chord, you know, if you're unfamiliar with barring at the moment, don't worry, you can work on it and come back to it, okay? We'll cover it in other lessons as we, as we go on through the year. So this will be... I'm actually going to plug the A string and the G string with that bar. So that's uh, a, and, a A and G pluck. Then I'm going to pluck the D string. So A and G together, D string. Then we're going to play the second finger that's going to land on the D string in the third fret. Stay on that string, the D string, play the 5th fret with the pinky, and then the 2nd fret on the G string again. Slowly. And then finish. Sorry. Open D. Not open D, D, the 2nd fret. Let's just do that again. So, A and G together. D string 3, D string 5, G string 2, finish off D string 2, okay? Okay, so it's a little bit fiddly, but if you take your time, you can work it out. So there we have it, the intro from Game of Thrones. Uh, like I said, if you want to play along with it, you're going to need a capo at the 3rd fret. Uh, I think it's the 3rd fret, it's the 3rd or the 5th, just going from memory, my terrible memory. Um, come back at the same time next week for another super easy guitar tutorial, guys. If you've got any requests, don't forget you can email me, leave me a message. Don't forget to subscribe 
to the YouTube account, okay? You can get the free lesson every week. And uh, I'll see you roughly the same time next week. Thanks a lot.